Hey guys, Shane Starnes here with DroidForums.net. You know me better as DroidModerX, and today I want to show you guys this awesome new application called Boot Manager. Uh, it is supported on several devices. Most of the HTC devices, such as the Desire, the Evo, the Incredibles, uh, the Thunderbolt. It's also um, on some other devices like the Droid 1, the Droid 2, and the Droid X. Uh, it's a little tricky on the Droid X and Droid 1, uh, as you have to be on a second in it ROM such as CM7, uh, MIUI, or Liquid. In fact, I had a little trouble using Boot Manager on MIUI, but I jumped over onto uh, CM7 on the GB kernel. Uh, it's imperative on like the Droid X uh, or the Droid 1, the second in it devices that you're on CM7 on the GB kernel. Uh, so I'm on CM7 on the GB kernel, and it's working great. Uh, the great thing about boot manager is that it allows you to run up to five ROMs on one phone all at the same time. Uh, so right now I'm running CM7 on my phone but on my SD card I actually have uh, two other ROMs pre-installed that I can boot into at any time. So uh, for all you flashaholics out there that like to install the ROMs like the moment they come out, this will allow you to flash those ROMs and maintain all your settings uh, on your on your phone ROM, you can run four, up to four other ROMs on your SD card. Uh, one thing that I really like about this is I can flash beta ROMs and help support developers by testing their beta ROMs, and I can run those straight from the SD card. Also, you'll notice that uh, there's no difference on the ROM that's on the SD card. So let's go ahead and start on this ins on this uh, app review here. So I'm going to open it up. It's Boot Manager. It's on the market for two dollars and ninety nine cents. And I will also include a link in the description. It does require a root, obviously. Uh, so when it boots up, it's gonna the first time it boots up, it's gonna download and install some files. And it does require that you purchase the app, so don't try to run the pirated version or anything like that because it will not work. And we don't suggest doing anything like that, anyways. Uh, we want you to support the developers. Uh, and besides, two dollars and ninety-nine cents for this app is well worth it. Uh, so, once everything opens up here, the first thing it's going to do is pop up a message to set up the phone ROM. You definitely don't want to go any further in this ROM without setting up the phone ROM because what that does is it it uh, flashes an image so that you can always get back to the phone ROM. So no matter what ROM you're in on the SD card, you can always get back to your starting place. Uh, you don't want to be stuck on a ROM in your SD card, then you would have to uh, reset the phone to factory settings and start over from there. Okay, so once you've set up your phone ROM, uh, you can do that also by just clicking set up phone ROM and it will make an image of the way that uh, your ROM is at the time that you do that so that you can always get back there. You'll go to install zips and hopefully you've got a couple of ROMs saved on your SD card somewhere. This is where you will install your ROMs to your SD card. So I keep those in my download folder because I just download those directly to the phone. I am on a Droid X here and it's on CM7 with a GB kernel like I had said before. Uh, so we'll just flash, I guess we'll go with the SSM and we'll put that in slot 3. Uh, slot 3 is empty, so I don't have to wipe system data or cache. I can actually just go ahead and flash that. And I'll select OK. Now it'll show you the status up top here. Uh, making system image. And this will go on for about 5 minutes. So right here I'm going to pause. And once it installs, I'll show you how it boots up. Alright guys, so while this is installing, I had uh, just a few things that I wanted to say about this ROM. Um... First off, I was having some issues, like I said, installing uh, installing my second and third ROMs on the SD card while I was running the MIUI ROM on this Droid X. And with those problems, I went directly to the market and found the support email uh, for this ROM. And I, I just shot him an email, hey, you know, I'm having trouble installing this on my device. Uh, you know, things are not working properly. It's not kosher. And... Uh, I didn't expect as quick of a response as I got from their support team. I mean, probably within uh, two or three hours, they had emailed me back. And then once that 
conversation started, he worked with me until I got it working. And uh, so there's something to be said about good customer service. Um, in it to win it apps, uh, they have excellent customer service, so you'll definitely be satisfied there. If you have any kind of trouble, they will definitely help you. I uh, also spoke with the developer, and he let me know that they're working on a new UI. So it's going to help with ease of use, so you shouldn't have any hiccups whenever you start up. And also, it's going to add to the beautification of the ROM. So not only will it be fun to use, but it'll also be nice to look at while you're using it. Uh, so I guess we'll go ahead and pause back here. I just wanted to say uh, those few things because they made a really good first impression with me. Uh, because in some instances, customer service is everything. And uh, I just thought it was really great that they were so quick to respond to my questions. Uh, but we'll get right back into it as soon as this installs. Okay, so when you're finished uh, installing the ROM, it'll say install complete and then uh, successfully installed underneath there. I do need to say one thing before you begin installing your ROM. Uh, make sure that you go into settings, display settings, and uh, turn your screen timeout to 30 minutes. And uh, because if your screen turns off during an, the installation of a ROM to the SD card, it won't turn back on. That's one bug that is in this application that I'm sure they'll iron out in the next update. Uh, but for now, do not turn your screen off during the installation of a ROM. And also, don't let it time out and turn off on its own. Uh, so anyways, once you have that ROM installed, you'll go to this Boot Installed ROM option. And you'll boot into your selected ROM. So I'll go with ICX here. And I'll go ahead and boot into that. Now we are booting up uh, directly from the SD card here. And the first boot generally takes a few minutes. Uh, once everything boots up and you're given the option to sign into your account, be sure you use your account that is tied to your, uh, to your Google Market account. Because if not, Boot Manager won't work and you'll be stuck. Uh, so make sure you use that Google Market account to sign in. And like I said, uh, you'll never notice that this ROM is installed on the SD card because it's just as responsive, just as snappy, just as fast as if the ROM were directly on your phone. And uh, whatever they're doing to make this work the way that it does, they're doing a good job because... Uh, like I said, you can run the ROM and it has all the same features that the ROM would would normally have. And uh, anyhow, you get a full sense of what the ROM is. So we'll let this settle in for just a few seconds. And then I will turn on Boot Manager. Uh, let's see here. We'll go ahead and start up Boot Manager. And if you get a message that says data needed on first boot, just back out and boot back into Boot Manager. But it should open right up for us. Allow super user permission. Let's see, it closed out on us, so we'll open it up again. Okay. Uh, so once you're in here, I just want to show you a few other features that it has here. Uh, also, one note, never set up the phone ROM on a ROM that you're running from your SD card because it'll always revert back to that whenever you boot into your phone ROM. Uh, so always make sure that you never do that when you're on your SD card ROM. Uh, so you can manage your installed ROMs, like de delete the ROM slots, uh, back up the ROM slots, restore ROM slots, and you can fix corrupted file systems uh, and set ROM names. And then they have SD Booster. I'm not going to do that now. And there's extras down here. Uh, clean cache, empty trash, fix permissions, system mount options, uh, white battery stats, Wi-Fi scan interval change, and zipline applications. So just some extra goodies in there. 
uh, like I said, this thing is well worth the two dollars and ninety nine cents that you spend. In fact, I think that price price is a little low, and the developers actually could probably charge more for this. Um, forgive me for saying that, but it is actually a really cool application. I'm excited to be able to use it. So we'll go back into boot installed ROM, and we will simply just go to phone ROM and OK. And we'll be back to our CyanogenMod 7 where we started. Guys, it's that simple, and it is that cool. Uh, so check out droidforums.net for all the latest in Android news. And uh, check back to this channel. You can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I will be updating it with videos on a pretty regular basis. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, also follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX uh, with an E, not a 3. Thanks, guys. Intoxicated